I shall bring you up to speed. At this moment, I'm sitting in Greta, my 1989 Volvo 240. I've owned since 2009. It's been incredibly useful. It's taken me over Europe. It's uh, taught me lots of different things, lots of different techniques. And the other year, I even learned how to weld and fabricate repair panels. Um, it was off the road for 18 months. I had two big holes in the floor. Had to repair that. There's some pictures I'll probably add in here. It finally got an MOT in June of last year and it was back to being my daily frontline driver to and from work, to and from the shops. Did that for about six weeks and it died on me. Nothing too extreme about that. Um, anyone who's driven one of these cars will know usual maladies about the fuel problems. The in-tank fuel pump usually wears out. It's a bit of a pain to get to, that in turn welds out the main fuel pump that's underneath the floor, underneath the back seat and then before you know it, you've got lots of other problems So, over the past few months, with bad weather, with work, with lots of other crazy stuff that's been going on in the planet I finally got both the in-tank pump and filter replaced and the main pump and filter replaced While I was at it also replaced the fuel sender unit. So now everything to do with the fuel should be fine, but unfortunately it still doesn't start. I think I've got an ignition problem. And today hopefully I shall show you how to check how the electronic ignition works, not only on this car, but hopefully it should be transferable skills to any other vehicle made you know, in the last 35 to 25 years. Hope you enjoy. This may all look incredibly alien to some, and it may look incredibly familiar to others. This thing down here, with the orange cap on it, is a distributor. That sends the high tension to each of the spark plugs and the cylinder head. That gets from a big coil down here and down there where it can get rained on and condensated on through the decades is an ignition unit which I suspect is either not working or the wiring to or from is possibly degraded and we're going to check that out using the most important tool I have, which is a multimeter. Every home should have one, just as important as a candle. At this moment in time, if it will focus, which it may or may not, I've got it on DC volts 200, not put it to 20, so it'll get a little bit more accuracy. I should put that in there. You may see what's happening, you may not, let's have a look. Right. There should be enough in the battery to do something. 12... 12.12, that'll do. Right. As I say, this is electronic ignition. So instead of having points in the condenser, we've got a little hole sensor inside there which in this particular vehicle has 
three contacts to it. A negative, a positive, and a signal that sends back to this control unit, which in turn collects the coil and send the EST to the sugar. So we can try and take that off and see if the connections are any good. The car itself is pretty much 32 years old. Most of the wiring is original. God only knows what we're going to fix. Focusing isn't very good. It looks clean enough. I drew this little uh, diagram taken from the Haynes manual. 